and we're just going to encircle that big cluster of trees right there right right there yeah, i say i say right there summer has been a whirlwind high demands from our day jobs relentless mechanical failures on the farmstead and some video storage failures on the computer. Oh, and we got some animals too. The goats are eating their weight in weeds and hay, and Aya, that sick little Akbosh puppy, well, she bounced back, and she's growing like a weed. We've been keeping a tight eye on how much she weighs and how much she's gaining each week, just to make sure she's getting enough food, but not too much. Well, dog's been weighed, dog's been fed. They're off right now taking the dog for a walk. I need to get up here and switch out the implements on this tractor because I gotta pick up the firewood in the front field, do a couple other things before I can put my attention toward making that hay feeder. Coming to get a ride. Oh. All right, stay right there. Watch your tail, well, you're just gonna Okay. Well, he usually rides over on this side, so that's where he's going. All right, move right over there. All righty. Good boy. <laughs> he loves to ride the tractor. I gotta get that off of there. feeder out of this tote. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the side right here down to this first level. There are a lot of different ways people do it. Sometimes they'll leave the plastic up here and they'll fold it over. I don't think I need to do that. I think as long as I make sure that I don't have any sharp edges I should be okay. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to leave the sides. I'm going to fold this in so that it supports the hay and that way I won't have any issues with the hay falling down and them scattering it all over the place, they'll just pick at it a little bit. Now, these aren't all the same. Some of them, it loops over the top, but the concept's pretty much the same. There's a metal crossbar that goes across it, and basically, you gotta get that out of there. This one just uses a T40 torch bit. Make sure the handle on the spigot isn't turned, so it's gonna interfere with getting this out of here, and then you can just pull it back, pull the whole thing out. is to just cut right at the top here and make sure there are no sharp edges on this metal. Leave this to kind of keep the hay from spilling out if they pull any down. And we can always take it off later if we decide we want to change that. Cut it right, cut it here, okay. and fold these up this way and join them together.
And all you do is you just kind of push this in. It bends right here. It's not real easy, but it's not real hard. So I use basically just use my knee and my foot to push it inward. I interlock them. I'm gonna bring them together. And then I'm probably, I'll probably come back and cut this off, make it shorter. Just thinking about the animals getting their heads in here. We'll see. Start with this one right here. Pull it up. Zip tie it. I don't think I have to do anything else. If I get darn thing up, stay. There we go. Yeah. So I want to put that in with the hay so the goats aren't kicking at it because they like to mess with everything. I just happen to have these zip ties from other projects. They're not terribly expensive. You can just go out and buy them for this. So these things, you used to be able to get these for about 30 bucks, 25 or 30 bucks. The price went up. There are a few places I can still find them for 50 with the bladder. I mean, they're relatively new. They're usually like a single use. If I go to Richmond, I can find them for about 25 or 30. I got to find out what they're putting in that. But this stuff is all food grade, everything that I'm using here. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to get down with the animals hitting their heads on it. So I'm going to probably take that down to right here on these. It's not a terribly expensive project. A hay feeder usually will run you several hundred dollars. If it's, you know, if you buy one that's already made, it's probably going to be about 600 or more. So this is a pretty cheap project and should be pretty easy to uh, maintain. And I would expect this to last a couple of years. And after a couple of years, you make another one and you improve the uh, design. But right now it looks pretty good to me. I'm just going to go ahead and cut those pieces off to make that flush, make it easier for the animals to get in here and eat without poking their faces on anything. I don't want that to happen. cap for it. Slide it down here over the edges. Nice. Fits pretty good. And I think the best thing about it is we already had this. This is something we had from way back when we were planting apple trees because we needed to get some water out there for them. So all we're doing is repurposing something we already had. I didn't buy anything new for this. That's nice. But if I had to, I could probably have looked around and picked the toad up for about 50 or 60 bucks. 
sometimes you can find where somebody's already made one of these because they had a bunch of them and they'll sell them hmm, 100 150 dollars so you decide what your time's worth but i think it's time for us to take this out here and see how it works Step around and grab a yeah. brick of hay. What do you think, Twiggy? Hmm? You want to eat some hay? Huh? You know, Shalom, hay is served on both sides of the feeder. <laughs> it's very nice. I like it. It turned out pretty good. It's really nice. It's easy to put the hay in. Well, I'm sure that she's determined to get in there and pee on whatever's on the ground, so. Who's going to be the first goat to poop on it? I'm worried about the first one to get their head stuck. Yeah, I don't think we'll get their head stuck. Hey, hey, I, I, I no. Oh. No. Training a dog. <laughs> you gotta be right on it. You can't let them build those bad habits. Oh. There you go. Come here, you. Well, it's a beautiful day out here. It's a little overcast. Clouds are real pretty. We've had good, cool, rainy weather. We needed the rain. Certainly needed a break from that heavy, heavy 85 and 95 degree heat we've been having but we've got some things we're trying to get done japan has been out here working for a couple hours i was wasting time inside putting some videos together and we're trying to move the goat fence in order to move the goat fence we've got to cut the grass in the area that we're going to put the fence in otherwise it'll ground out and for some silly reason today is the day that it seems like the battery on the ventrac is going to be dead now it tells me it's got 12.2 and 12.1 volts when I'm turning the key there, but it's not turning over. I'm actually gonna jump it with this old Dodge. There we go. Give it some negative. Now, I tell you, usually you wanna connect the negative to the frame someplace but the paint job on these things is so darn good, I can't find a spot where I think it would give connectivity to it. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it in right here where the negative wires come together. See if I can't get this thing to turn over. like a 
new battery might be in my future for the Ventrac. <laughs> Just in case you save a little bit of money and stick it to the side. You count on your equipment to help take that away from you. Well, we had a good plan, but good plans don't always work. We have the fencing set up over here. We cut all the area we needed to be able to set the fence up. The problem we've got is we've only got four runs of fencing. They're about 160 feet each. Well, we probably need about three more for this to work. So we're changing the way we've got it. We pulled it up and we're moving around. I brought the vent track over here and I just cut another path. And what we're basically gonna do, we've got it, because we had to set up such a long entryway to it, we used up some of the fence for that. We're going to encircle that big cluster of trees right there. And <clears throat> I am not foghorn leg horn, I swear. So we're just gonna run this down here. Hopefully we can get it to match up. It should come within about five, ten feet, so hopefully there'll be a little overage. And Aya found where we had the burn pit up here before, and she's uh, she was digging in it. That is a dirty dog. You are a dirty dog. It's true. So we're walking to the new fenced area. Just seeing how the girls like it. They really cleared the trees over here. I love the way it looks. Much cleaner lines. So let's see what they do over here. Hey goat! They're going to work. I noticed they really like the blackberry bushes. Hey goat, are you so happy? Yeah. <laughs> I think their next favorite is the poplar trees. They tend to leave the pine trees and they really do not like the smooth sumac at all. But they, uh, they will eat this stuff all day long. And Twiggy's always the odd one out. Poor Twiggy. <laughs> She's a little eating machine. They're yeah, going to town. Is that the goodness? Oh. Hey, Margo. I just noticed. She's like, you have grain. Marco, get down. Get down. Marco. Manners. Thanks for stopping by. Now that we've got things back to normal, I expect everything to be smooth sailing. We'll see you guys next time on Break Hard Orchard.